This video chart presentation of RenRen Inc. RenRen is a New York Stock Exchange company trading our ticker RENN. -N. It's a nine month chart. You can see this started trading back in May. Been on a pretty harsh downtrend since it began trading. But it's holding a new base right around $3.60. You can see a little bit of momentum shift going on. We're going to put this on radar because it's a pretty nice distance up to the first real resistance level. See, we're seeing a slight uptrend in the MACD. Instagram bought ready to pop through zero. Tell us a bullish cross could be coming, which would indicate a shift in trend. Not crazy about the PPO actually making new lower lows, but again, we are seeing the histogram bars trend back towards zero. So we'll keep an eye on a bullish cross there as well. It's what you call a pretty loose PPO ADX pinch. ADX isn't really that screaming high, only registering around a 33 right now. But the positive and negative DIs are certainly in a position to allow for a nice reversal. So I just keep an eye off that ADX and start to flatten, start to curl its way back downward. Of course, that's going to correlate with the support holding. But as far as bottom plays go, we're seeing some indicators set up for it. MFI is no different. Trying to come out of an oversold territory. Showing a little bit of money is trying to come into this play. Accumulation distribution. We'll just be looking for it to hold this baseline level. Try to develop some sort of upward trend. Shaking money flow. Not making new lower lows. Holding a baseline level as well. CCI working its way out of negative 100. Overall showing a pretty nice uptrend. Full still trying to push its way through 20, show it's coming out of oversold territory, a little bit of momentum coming into the play. Tricks, not really giving much help at this point, still showing the downtrend, making a new lower low. Not a great look from the tricks either at this point. As I mentioned, the RSI is coming out of oversold territory, showing a little bit of momentum trying to come into the play. So we're getting some kind of mixed signals from the indicators, that's why we take a quick look at them, see if they're leaning heavily one way or the other. But it always comes down to the candles anyways. And what I'll be looking for in this RENN chart is to hold the lows from the previous day. See that a low of 362. It does pick up a very bottom support at 338. But on the day it touched that, it pulled right back up to 362. So now for the last six trading days, it's held that level. And that's going to be the key point I'm going to want to see stay intact. I don't want to see it close below that, even though it does pick up some bottom support a little bit lower. There is some resistance right in front of it, right around $4. But that's very near term. I don't see resistance picking up until it gets up near 450 and then really starting to stiffen around $5. 50 day moving average is coming into play there. But you can see closing at 379, it's a pretty nice upside. And you can see this chart does have some pretty nice swings 450 to 734, nearly $3 a share, 661 to 850, $6 to $12. So it wouldn't really be out of the question for it to make a swing from this level to go up here and challenge that resistance point at $5. Of course, when chasing bottoms like this, as I always say, that bottom support must stay intact. That's the most important thing to me. And I look for some sort of upward pressure. And then if it wants to slide back a little, make a new higher low, and then go up and try and challenge that next mark. Beyond $5, again, a pretty substantial upside. To up to around $6.25 to the next resistance level. It's going to be pretty intermittent through there, up around $6.60, and then till up over top of $7, certainly back in the $8.50 area. But if I had to identify the first two key resistance points, I'd be looking for the $5 mark and the $6 mark to see if RENN is going to try and to see if RENN is going to try and identify this as a true bottom, perhaps make some sort of inverted head and shoulders pattern, and try and make a true reversal for the chart. You also always have to take a look at volume, 2.7 million shares traded. That's about average for it. Plenty of liquidity in this play being a big board play. So I wouldn't consider volume to be much of a concern. Right now I'd watch that bottom support. See if it takes on some upward pressure and if it can challenge this resistance point. Those are the things that I'll be looking for in the Ren Ren chart. But as always, this is merely my interpretation. Thank you for watching and trade smart.